We have here the 5001 black model salon chair. We're going to show you how to get this one set up. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. We're going to get the part set out so we can show you everything what comes in the box here. Um, and then we'll show you how to get this done. Um, we'll be right back. All right, guys. Pretty simple assembly here. Just as long as you know a couple things, we're going to teach you a couple tricks here to get this put together really simply. All right. This is going to be the base right here. This is going to be the back. You can tell this is the back because it does not have the metal plate on it for the bottom. This is the bottom, and this is the metal plate I was talking about right here. Um, this is where the pump is going to connect to the base right here. We'll show you that in a second. Um, this is where the footrest is going to go right here, and that's how you can tell it's the front. Alrighty. Here's the two arms, and there is a right and a left. We'll show you that later. Um, here's the pump, and here's the footrest. We're going to go ahead and get this pump unboxed and get it screwed into the base here, and we'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, guys, we opened up the box with the pump in it, and what you're going to have in there is going to be the pump here. This is the actual hydraulic pump. This is going to be the foot pedal, um, and it's also going to come with the bag of hardware. And this is going to have the screws to connect the pump to the base here. Um, it's also going to have the caps to go over the arms once we screw the arms in. Um, it's also going to have your tools here, your little Allen wrenches, everything you're going to need to put this together. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the base connected to the pump here, and we'll show you that. All right, now we've got the pump connected to the base here. And how they do that, you just take those little black screws that come in your hardware bag, and you screw from the bottom going up, and... Easiest way to do this, just set the pump down like that and get the screw started. Once you get them screwed in, flip it over, and you're going to have this right here. Now, this, the only trick right here is you take the foot pedal and you want to make sure it's in from the correct side, and that's going to be with the pump inside the foot pedal right here. Um, you want to make sure the chrome lip is pointing out. If the foot pedal is in from the incorrect direction, like this, um, if it is in from this side, the foot pedal is going to pump up backwards and the hydraulic pump is going to go backwards. Um, so you know how to fix that instantly. Just make sure the foot pedal in from the correct side here. To tighten that in, the screws are inverted screws. They just come in the sides right here. You just take your Allen wrench, screw that in to fasten that in there. And that's how you correctly install the foot pedal for this pump. All right, next we're going to go ahead and get the bottom and the seat put together and get that on the pump, and we'll show you what that looks like. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get the bottom of the chair and put onto the pump here. Um, I did want to point out this little pin is going to come in your bag of hardware. Um, what it is is it goes right down here in the pump. Um, sometimes it does not fit, though. Um, it's not really necessary. What it is is more of just a guide for this little slot in the bottom of the chair here. As long as you just follow the guide here, you really don't need that pin. We'll go ahead and get this put on here. And just kind of try to line it up there. Once that's on there, you can sit down, give it a good sit. The pressure from the weight is going to keep that on the pump. There's actually no screws to connect the pump to the chair. It's all created by a seal on this pump and that plate right there. So once you sit in it, it's going to hold it on there. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get the arms put onto this, and we're going to connect the back and the seat portion, and what connects those is the arms. The screws for this is going to come already pre-drilled into the back and the seat portion. And all you do is unscrew these, then we'll place the arms in place, and then screw them back into place, holding that right there securely. Alright guys, the arms are very simple to install. You just need to know that there is a right and a left. And you can tell by the flush side right here, I'm in the back screws. The back screws are going to be on the back, right here on the flush side for the right, um, and then right here on the left. And we're going to set these in place just like this, and put the back in place, and then screw that in just like that. And let's go ahead and get that started, and we'll be back in one second and let you see what that looks like. 
Alright guys, in your bag of hardware, you're going to have some black caps like that. Once you have the arms screwed into place and everything screwed in, all good and secure, what you're going to do is take these black caps and put them over the holes right here. Cover the screws, make it all nice and pretty. It's going to look like this. Alright guys. Alright guys, only thing we have left to get this up and running is the footrest here and we're going to go ahead and put that in the two places that marks the front on the bottom plate where I showed you earlier. This is just going to go in right like this and once it's in, you just unscrew these a little bit and then once it's in, you just screw them back in and it'll tighten that and secure it into place. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, we've got the footrest in place. We've got the screws tightened back in to hold it securely into place. Now we got our slot chair fully put together here. Alrighty, give it a try. Just pump it up. It's gonna go up. A little pressure. Come back down. And give it a good sit. Make it sit on that pump really well. And you should be good to go.